Hey, it's good to see you. We are back in Walmart and we're gonna do a little bit of grocery shopping today. I have a recipe that I wanna make for dill pickle soup. So I thought we could come to Walmart today and get some of the ingredients for this recipe. So I have my list here and I, I brought a book. Look, I tried to be smart. I thought I would bring something to write on. This was mine when I was a kid. I love this book. I still have it. And I thought I could use it to put my list on. But it's, well, I mean, it'll sit there kind of, but it, if you shift it a little bit, it falls. So I don't know if that's going to work, but so I have my pen and I have my list. We need, what do we need? Chicken broth, potatoes, carrots, uh, pickles, sour cream, Old Bay seasoning, cayenne pepper, and it says you can garnish it with this stuff, but I don't know that I'm going to worry about that. So I headed over to the produce section and, and I spotted this at first. I said, oh, potatoes. I need potatoes. But these are the weirdest looking potatoes I've ever seen in my life. I don't think we should use these potatoes. I, th <laughs> I think they've gone bad. Okay. So yeah, we do need potatoes and carrots. So we're over here in the produce section. Let's see if we can find potatoes and carrots. I see carrots. We could get a bundle of carrots. They don't have to be fancy. It's already trying to fall. All right, so we just get, we have some carrots here. These will work. Let's see if I can just get it to stay there. That would be nice, okay. So we got carrots, we need potatoes. Where can we find potatoes? Do they have deal? See, you come over here and you can already get stuff chopped up if you want to. And we have mushrooms, those are, I don't like mushrooms. Do they have deal? We could get some deal. We have, this is deal. We could get some tangy deal for garnish. I guess we'll go ahead and do that. It also says for garnish you can use sliced dill pickles or black pepper. Okay, potatoes. I said potatoes. This is a nice little tidy Walmart. I like this Walmart. Oh, look at the fruit and the little vegetable trays. These are nice. Look at that. Looks good. Okay, these are not potatoes. <laughs> we have tomatoes and onions. What kind of onions do we have? We have sweet, white, uh, red, yellow. I don't know why I'm looking at onions. I don't need onions. We have more fruit over here. I don't need that. I've lost the potatoes somehow. Look at this tidy store. Oh, look at all the strawberries. Oh, these are $5.58 for two pounds of strawberries. They look nice. I'm looking, I'm not seeing potatoes. Let's see. I've got my cart. I got it right here. I'm pulling on it. Now here we have, look at that. You can get a pineapple for $2.18. Aren't they pretty? Oh my goodness. I'm just doing laps in here, let's see. So these are apples. Where are the dang potatoes? I can't find potatoes. Maybe they're on the other side of this right here. Well, this says potatoes and it actually is potatoes. That's helpful. Okay. How many potatoes do we need? Let me. Oh, somebody stuck ice cream in there. They're gonna have to throw that away. Let's see. We need one and three quarter pounds of russet potatoes peeled and quartered. Why would you do this? How do you get up to the potatoes and decide that you can't live this way anymore? 
This wire. All right. So here's five pounds. Oh, look at these goodies. Oh my gosh, look at these cookies. Wow, these are $5.94 for these springtime cookies. You can get sugar sandwich cookies. Madeline's, Madeline's, whatever. Whatever you want to call them. Oh, look at these pretty little sugar cookies. You can get smaller packs of these cookies too. Yeah, oh no, these are $6.47. Okay, yeah, these are $6.47 for the packs like this. You can even get, like, Rice Krispie Treats. Look at that. Thumbprint cookies. Those are good. I have no idea why I'm looking at this. We don't need it. Okay. Five, those are white potatoes, sweet potatoes. We could get some baby potatoes. Or should I not? It does say you need russet potatoes. Are these russet potatoes? These are. Okay, this is this says russet potatoes. We'll just get these. I'll use the rest of them in something else. Oh, I love making soup in the winter time. Okay. Look at these cookies over here. Oh, what have we got? Peanut butter no-bake cookies. Oh, these are pretty. Cream cheese frosted snickerdoodle cookies. S'mores buttercream cookies. Oh, they even have red velvet cookies back there. Peanut butter fudge no-bake cookies. Oh, I love these brownie bites. Oh, they're so good. We have fudge brownies. Cream cheese brownies. Dip macaroons. Candy cookies, double chocolate, oatmeal raisin. I'm not wasting calories on oatmeal raisin. There's even more over there, but we need to move on. Okay. So let's see. I don't, I have, I don't have chicken broth. I have, I need to get pickles. I have butter and flour. I need to get sour cream. Uh, I have salt and pepper. Okay. Let's just head this way and see what happens. Okay. Over here we have our meats. Our pretty little display. Okay. I don't think I need anything. Oh, this this is the pickle aisle. This is where you get your pickles. You could get a whole gallon size of Mount Olive Kosher deals for $8.36. I don't think we need that many. No, I don't think we do. You always look for the green section of the aisle. That's where you find your pickles, down here. Mount Olive. You can also get Vlasic, but I like Mount Olive better. How many pickles did it say we need? Let's see. Two, we're gonna need two cups of pickle juice. So, two cups, just wondering and about three large whole pickles. You can do the spears though because they're gonna get cut up. Let's um let's see. Or I could get I could get one of the whole things of kosher dill down there. I don't really need that many though. I'm just wondering, do you think there'd be two cups of pickle juice in here? I bet there aren't. I bet, I bet there aren't two cups of pickle juice in there. Um, I'm just trying to decide the best way to do this. <laughs> i tell you what. I'm going to get... Hmm, I'm going to get two of these because I, I don't want to get a big one because I'm afraid they would go to waste. I, I don't need anywhere near that many. And they would they would go to waste, but if I have these two smaller ones, I think it would be okay. Okay, so that's our pickles, and they have to be chopped up, so the spears are fine. All right, there. Now, chicken broth is going to be on the soup aisle, I would imagine. Look at all that fake cheese. Ooh, look at that Velveeta. Look at all that Velveeta. 
gosh. You can get a chunk. Look at this chunk. Two pounds of Velveeta for $7.98. You could get a tub of nacho cheese sauce for $9.58. Oh, I'll tell you what though, these right here, these great value original pizza crusts, these things are really good. They are very good. We use those all the time. And this right here, this pizza sauce. Yeah, it's good too. Okay. So we got our pickles. My book is holding up nicely as long as I don't shake it too much. Look at all the ketchup. Such a variety. Barbecue sauce. Yummy. Okay. See, these are the bulk sizes. Oh, I would have loved that when I was pregnant with my younger son. I ate Texas Toast croutons all the time. I was addicted to those things. I loved them. Okay. Now, that's box dinners. Over here is the soup according to the sign. This looks like candy. This isn't soup. Look at all the candy. Well, we do have soup over here. Speaking of which, my younger son has discovered that he loves ramen noodles. He had never had them before, and we had them the other night, and he loved them. And my older son asked me to pick up some of the shrimp it comes in a bowl, but he doesn't want the hot and spicy kind. Ugh. Oh, there it is, right? It's hiding back there. This is not for the recipe, but my, my older son really likes these. I'm gonna get a couple of those for him. These little shrimp flavored soup bowls. But yeah, my younger son has dis discovered he loves ramen noodles. <laughs> so I said, you're all set for college then. <laughs> they taste like college to me. I, I never ate them before I went off to college, but I ate so many of them when I was, when I was in, in college. Okay, now we do need broth. Let me look here. Wow, we need five and a half cups of chicken broths. So that's a lot. Five and a half cups. I think I'm gonna get, I think I might get the reduced sodium chicken broth. Let's see. We're gonna need two of these because we need five and a half cups. I'm just getting the great value. It's fine. So there's enough in there. So we got our chicken broth. Chicken broth. Okay. And we need sour cream. The pickle juice is taken care of because that's in the pickle jars. I also need Old Bay seasoning and cayenne pepper. I don't have that. Oh, they have the, I'm going to grab one of these. These four packs of chicken noodle soup. We, we eat those occasionally. So we have candy over here. You, it's actually very tidy. Look at it. Some Walmarts you go in, and this section just looks like the end of the world, but theirs is actually really, really uh, organized. It looks good. No complaints from me. Okay. Oh, have you seen this? Oh, it's on clearance. This Takis popcorn. It was $5, which I thought was ridiculous, but now it's on clearance for $2.50. This Takis popcorn, and that's all you get. It's, that's that's all. This little carrot of popcorn. It's like, it's like a little carrot. This is all you get, and this was $5. I think it's ridiculous. Oh, look. Now, here is an aisle that we're definitely going to be looking at later. Not today, though. All the Valentine stuff. You can see that there are blank spots. They're still putting it out. But we're going to do a video coming down through and looking at all of the Valentine's Day candy. And one thing I like about this store is that they put it all on one aisle so you don't have to go back and forth between these little short aisles. And when you're making a video, it's a lot easier. Oh, look at this. Nerds nail polish. Huh. Okay. Yep. 
My younger son's in the eighth grade, and he said they do. They did Valentine's exchanges last year. I don't remember that, but he wanted me to pick up something for the Valentine's Day exchange. But I'll have to ask him what he. I don't even know what he would want from here, so we won't worry about it. Oh, they still have Chris. Oh, look at all this. This is Christmas clearance. You can get. <laughs> A gingerbread house. They had so many gingerbread houses left. And I was in Aldi yesterday and they had a ton of gingerbread houses left. Either they made too many this year or nobody felt like doing gingerbread houses. You can even make some ornaments. I think this stuff is all 75% off now, but I bought two gingerbread houses yesterday at Aldi for $1.75 each. <laughs> I'm not buying any more. My kids will kill me if I bring home any more gingerbread houses. We have little holiday ugly sweater kits, fudge, little gingerbread men. Wow, they had a lot left over. What is this? So these are all a dollar. These are baking bars. I don't know if that goes here. Epic pep chocolate peppermint cookies. Yeah, that's all left over from Christmas. Okay, let's see. Hey, they even have Christmas sprinkles, hot cocoa toppers, Christmas tree sprinkles. Interesting, but that's not what we need, is it? Oh, look at those big harps. Wow, they're giant. Look at that big harp. <laughs> oh, they even have little baking kits. Christmas calories don't count. Baking spirits bright. That's so cute. So I guess these are 75% off as well. That's cool. Yeah, all right. The store is pretty quiet right now because it's kind of early in the morning. Oh, since we did drink mixes, look at, look at this. So this is where I got all of my drink mixes. You can get them here at Walmart. They have Skittles, Nerds. You can get the individual flavors. Crystal Light, Energy Rush. We have the Crush drinks. You can get the individual flavors of that. Oh, they have Sonic as well. Hawaiian Punch. Oh, they have Sunkissed. I didn't see that one before. With four flavors. Look at that. Orange, Strawberry, Peach, and Grape. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I love those. Okay, all right, I forgot what I was looking for. Well, we're down here on the snack aisle, but this is not, I think I'm on the wrong aisle. I have to just keep going. We have crackers and nibbles and munchies, juice. a Reebok outfit that has nothing to do with my recipe, but I'm going to go look at it. My cart's all right. Look at this. You can get a little windbreaker that looks like it's straight out of 1987. Matching pants. Oh, I like these little Avia. Oh, it's open in the back. I don't like those. And over here we have these, I was looking at these leggings the other day, these little high-rise leggings. These are cute with the beige on them. They're $24. I like them. And they have these. Oh, these are cute, these little cuffed joggers with the little pocket. Those are $28. Those are neat. Oh, they have them in back, like black and beige too. And they have these cute little vests from Avia. I like those. And look over here, we have Valentine's Day cookies. Now, I did get a set of these, and we'll do these later, a set of these cookies to color. These used to be $9.99. They are now $11.94, so they have gone up. And these sets used to be, let's see. I think these used to be like $7.99 or $8.99. I don't think that's the right price for that though. I think they're $9.98. What is this? A designer cookie kit for $11.94. Oh, you can add sugar and stuff to it. 
from Bakery Bling. Nice. That's new. I haven't seen those before. You have your little thumbprint cookies for Valentine's Day. Your frosted sugar cookies. Chocolate peanut butter nuggets. Yummy. We'll, we'll get back to shopping in a minute. I'm, I'm just looking. Chocolate caramel covered pretzel rides. Oh, look at the little iced brownie bites. What is this? Vanilla Petit Fours. Nice. Sugar cookies. Ooh, these look tasty. Look at that. Yummy. They have these sugar cookies with purple frosting, too. See, my cart's fine. Nobody cares. Next, we're going to head over to the spices. All right. Spices. We have our cake mix. Look at all these sprinkles. Have you ever seen so many sprinkles in your life? You could get every kind and sugar and cupcake liners and little candy eyeballs and sugar pearls, candles, cookie icing. Wow. I love it. Okay. So we have to find, oh, and I also need to get Jello. My younger son asked me to pick up some Jello for him. He likes the uh, Sonic Jello, but I don't think they have it here. They don't have it at every Walmart. They only have it at some Walmarts, and I don't see it, but they do have Starburst. I might be looking right at the Sonic Jello. Don't see it. Um, we'll get him a Skittles Original Red. And let's see. Looking to see. They have lime. Sonic Jello. They have a Sonic Jello that's like a sour apple flavor. Oh, look at this. You can get Swedish Fish marshmallows and Sour Patch Kids watermelon marshmallows. Hmm. Let's see. I don't see a sour apple. That's okay. We will just get. Do, should I do watermelon? I'll get a watermelon one. So that's not for the recipe. I'm just I'm just shopping while I'm here. Okay. Oh, they have a berry blue jello. And then you have the great value flavors. Oh, they even have a pineapple one. Okay. So we're gonna come over to the seasoning. We need old bay seasoning. They have Slap You Mama. That's really good, too. That's good on pretty much anything. Okay. Uh, I know I'm looking right at it. Look at all these flavors. Look at all these. They even have Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cinna Dust. Oh, a Twix. Look at that. Twix Shakers. <laughs> Gosh. Okay. Accent. Pink salt, Creole seasoning. I'm moving my card out of the way. Okay. Well, I found cayenne pepper right here, and Old Bay is right there. Look at that. Got both. All right. So that's our cayenne pepper and Old Bay. I think all I have left is the sour cream and I have the rest of this stuff. Look at all these breadings. You can get all of these breadings to fry up stuff like fish or chicken or whatever you want to do. All these breadings, my gosh. Chicka licka bam bam. Chick I have never heard of that. Chicka licka bam bam. The ultimate restaurant style chicken sandwich. Air you can fry it, air fry it, or bake it. Great for tenders too. 
Nice. Never seen that one. <laughs> we have biscuit down there. All kinds of just like all-purpose baking mixes. Okay, so the last thing we need is sour cream. Y'all want to go see how much eggs are right now? I'm curious. Right now, you can get a dozen eggs at my Aldi for four dollars and fifteen cents. This is this is not eggs. This is meat. Okay. Yeah, it's very quiet in here right now, except for they're putting out stock, and you have a little bit of noise from that. Look at these Lunchables. You can get your little Lunchables, shredded cheese. I wouldn't mind having some yogurt. I don't have any yogurt. I wouldn't mind having some yogurt. Let's see. Sliced cheese. Look at those cute little things of orange juice. They're so tiny. You can also get Milo's Famous Sweet Tea. There are 45 grams of carbs in here, 44 grams of sugar. Oh gosh, they even have one that's extra sweet. God, is that not bad enough? 72 grams of sugar in this bottle, 72. Good Lord, I mean, that's crazy. That is nuts. Okay, so you get your refrigerated biscuit dough, pizza dough, cookie dough. Okay, let's see. Well, if you want just a dozen eggs, let's see. Well, 12 jumbo eggs is $6.12. That's for the dozen jumbo eggs. You can get three dozen eggs for $13.86. You can get five dozen large white eggs for $19.98, but you can't open them to check them. Half a dozen eggs for $2.82, and then you have this big empty space. Five fourteen for a dozen white eggs, like that. You can get Nellie's free range eggs for $6.23. Pete and Jerry's organic eggs for $6.42. We don't actually eat a lot of eggs in my house, so I'm kind of glad of that right now. <laughs> now let's see. You could get a gallon of milk for $3.26. Have your almond milk, creamers, orange juice. other juices. Oh, look at that tea. Look at that sweet tea. Gallons of sweet tea. I just make it myself. It's a lot easier. Or it's not much harder. Um, all right. This is yogurt. I did say I wanted some yogurt. Let me see. Let me get some triple zero. I'm going to get one of these. This is not for the recipe, that's just for me. <laughs> it's for me. Okay. All right, we need how much cream cheese? Or sorry, sour cream? One cup of sour cream. Here. It's eight ounces of sour cream. Okay. And that was it. Well, you know what? I think I might pick up some... I'm going to get a little bit more butter while I'm here. I'm going to get unsalted butter. You get four sticks for $4.48. I'll just get a, a... I think I have enough butter, but I'm not sure. So, it won't go to waste. So, I'm going to go ahead and check that off, too. Okay, so that's everything that we needed to get today. Yeah. That was all I need for our dill pickle soup. Fabulous. Look at this. They have they have cereal here. 
It's it's minis. It's little minis. They even have cinnamon tro cinnamon toast crunch minis, Reese's puffs. Those are cute. So it's just like little balls. I don't know what the point of that is, but it's cute. Over here we have something. Let's see, Ambush Universe Reese's Puffs. Oh wow, Cinefuego Toast Crunch. Huh. Lucky Charms with some weird person on it. Okay. Cocoa Puffs. You can even get bags of cereal. Look at this. From Malto Meal, you get these bags of Golden Puffs. Wow. So this is their version of uh, Honey Smacks. Remember they used to be called Sugar Smacks, but they changed the name because it sounds unhealthy. So we have a line on a throne throwing these Golden Puffs up in the air. Now why a carnivore would give a crap about that, I don't know. And down here we have cinnamon toasters, tutti fruities, <laughs> and over here we have soda and laundry detergent together. I don't, I've never seen them together like this, but they have them together here. Oh, you could get a cube of Pepsi, oh, that's Pepsi Zero Sugar, that's what I'm here for as well. I want to get some of those, let's see now, you can get a 12 pack for $5.98. Good God, is that right? Well, that says $4.48. I, you never know until you get up front how much they are. The prices are all over the place. They have the bottles for $3.33. That's a good deal. I may get some of those. Um, and then the two liters are having a party over here. Look at them all falling over. $2.28 for a two liter. I'm gonna get some of those. So I'm going to go ahead and load up on those. I got my Pepsis. I decided to get two of those. I don't know how much they are, but it's probably cheaper. And we have chips down here. Chips. Oh, my gosh. Look at all these chips. Wow. What kind of Doritos do we have? We have Flamin' Hot Nacho. Flamin' Hot Limon. Hot Funyuns. Cool Ranch Flaming Hot, Spicy Nacho, the Sweet Chili ones are my favorite, but I don't see those, they have the regular ones too. Um, I think I'll get a bag of these. These are okay. Alright, well, I did a little bit of other shopping, and then I also got the stuff to make our soup. So now we can make some dill pickle soup. That'll be awesome. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy getting to shop for stuff for dill pickle soup today. It's always fun to just kind of walk around in here early in the morning when it's not so crazy busy and get my stuff. Also get to look at other stuff, so... Thank you so much for being here. I really hope that you have a wonderful day and I'll see you again soon.